Let's take a quick little tour here of Final Cut Pro 7. So over here is our project window. This is where we're going to save our sequences and our media files. Notice here's also our effects tab, which we'll come back and talk about later. Over here is our source monitor. This is where we load footage into the source. We have the canvas window, which is the playback of the timeline. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do now is import some media into Final Cut Pro and get started. So I'm going to go to File, Import, Files, and I'm going to go to the desktop and I'm going to choose our source media, walk up to house, and you can see I have a folder here of videos. So I could have just imported this entire folder if I wanted, or I could select an individual media file. So I'll just select a file for right now. Let's do car pull up wide. I'll click on choose. And here you go. You can see that the media file is now here in the browser window. If I want to import a folder of video clips, I choose folder. Let's go back to source media. Now we're going to go to walk up to house and choose video. Notice how the folder is highlighted this time. Let's click on choose. There we go. So now you can see what an individual clip looks like, and here we have a folder of clips. Now if we right click or control click here inside of the browser window, notice that we can change the look here. So right now we're on what's called list view, or we could go to small icons. Let's control click again, and let's go to medium icons, there we go. And now let's check out large icons. All right, now you can see what the files look like in the large setting. If we double click here on video, now you can see how our media files look in large view. Let's start with some basics here. Let's double click on the car pull up wide shot. And you can see how this is now loaded into the source window. And notice I can grab the hard line between the two windows and change the size. So here we are, and we have our playhead at the very beginning of this media file. And notice the film sprockets here on the left of the source monitor. This indicates that we are at the absolute beginning of this media file. If I move the playhead all the way to the end, you can see the film sprockets are on the right, indicating that we are at the absolute end of this media file. So let's bring the playhead, say, to about right here. I'm going to press I on the keyboard to mark an endpoint, or I could also click right there on this button would be the endpoint. If I can get the mouse cursor to hover over it, and see we can click right there. And now I'm going to choose the out point, and I could press O on the keyboard, or I could click on this guy right here and select my out point. Okay, great. So now it's time to bring this down to the timeline for the first time. Now there's a couple ways we could do this. I know for some beginning editors, you guys and gals like to click and, you know, drag and drop the files on the timeline. Let me show you how I prefer to do it. If we put the playhead, say, here at the beginning of the timeline, and I click right here on the overwrite edit, you can see that it's popping up a warning now. It says, for best performance for your sequences, you should set the sequence to match the format of the clip, and we should say yes. Okay, great. So now we've placed the media clip down here on the timeline for the very first time. All right, we've made our first edit, and it's time now to save our project. And I'm sure that's why the little Final Cut Pro icon is bouncing down here. If I click on this, it'll leave me alone, but it's saying, hey, you know, you might want to save before you get too far. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to File save project as let's go to our desktop our source media and in here i'm going to call this fcp 7 underscore chapter 1. notice the file extension period fcp okay great let's click save all right cool so we've just saved our final cut pro project and i'm going to go ahead and command q and quit let's go back to the source media so here you can see the Final Cut Pro 7 file, and when I touch on the file here in the Mac operating system, you can see what the icon looks like. Let's go ahead and double click on it. We are back to where we started. All right, well that concludes this quick tutorial on getting started with Final Cut Pro 7 here on the Get Going YouTube channel. Please click on subscribe and post any questions that you might have about Final Cut Pro 7 or other creative software.
Thanks for watching.